In this video, we will learn how to add a new driver to your TMS account. From the landing page, we can go to the Assets section and click on Drivers. This will open a list of all drivers, where at the top left corner you'll be able to see the Add button with the plus that will open up a new window and allow you to create a brand new driver. You'll also see the quick access buttons to edit or delete an entry. The edit and delete buttons only appear when you highlight a specific line by clicking on it. Remember, this list will function the same as other lists in the TMS, such as users, trucks, trailers, and more, with your ability to search list-specific fields at the bottom, do custom filtering with column headers, and export sorted data at the bottom right. Please refer to the adding a new user video for more specifics on sorting and filtering a list. Clicking on add will open a new window for a new driver's profile. You will see that you have a series of tabs on the left hand side that show specific items that are only related to this driver. You can minimize these tabs by clicking on the arrow at the top left when hovering over general. This will only show the tab icons. You can then bring back the full titles by clicking on the three lines at the top of the tabs. Starting with the general tab, you will see the most important information related to the driver. Remember, ID is system generated and not editable, as this is what the TMS system uses to assign specific list entities to orders, transactions, and more. This number will go up by one each time you click add to make a new driver profile. At the top, we have a series of checkboxes that we will explain first. You can choose to deactivate a driver by unchecking the active checkbox. So if a driver leaves your company and you no longer have anything outstanding, you can uncheck this box and it will deactivate the driver. You can freeze their payable, meaning stopping the ability to generate settlements for them if a specific situation comes up by clicking this box. By selecting Send Gross Pay, you will allow to send the driver the gross dollar amount from the loads they are to be paid off of before their pay method is taken into account. You can select whether they are eligible for rehire in the company, for example, if they left in good standing, or if you decide you would not hire them again in the future. Then you will also be able to choose if you want to allow the creation of express codes for this driver by clicking the Allow Checks checkbox. On the right, you'll be able to upload a photo of the driver from your computer and save it to the driver's profile. You can click here on Upload Photo and then select the file that you would like to attach. Under the Profile section, you will have general information starting with the driver type, whether he is a company driver, owner operator, or lease purchase driver. You will have fields for his first and last name, address, contact information, gender, birth date, and which company he is driving for, if you are operating multiple companies under your account. So let's fill out an example. When filling out the address, you can start with the zip code for which the system will automatically fill out the city and state for you. You can override this if needed. When filling out company, you can start typing to show any matches of the company the driver would be assigned or employed under, or you can click on the magnifying glass to search and select from a list of invoicing companies. Under the settlement section, you'll be selecting how the driver is to be paid. If you leave this pay to field blank, the driver's settlement will generate under his general information above. He is in essence then just considered as an employee. If the driver's settlement needs to be paid to his own company, for example, an owner operator that has his own LLC, you can then input that driver's company by either typing in and selecting their company 
or clicking on the magnifying glass to search and select one from the vendor's list. The settlement will be generated under the information of that selected vendor. The pay method is where you will be choosing if the driver is paid off total miles, where you can input a dollar amount per mile, loaded miles, where you can differentiate between loaded and empty miles, percentage, where they are getting a set percentage off of the gross pay in the order, or flat, where they will be getting a flat amount each time a settlement is generated. This was designed for weekly and bi-weekly settlements, so no matter how many orders they had for the week, if they worked the whole week or not, the driver pay on the settlement will be the same. Under the fuel card field, you can input any fuel cards that you want their fuel transactions to be associated to the driver. You will input only the last five digits of the fuel card number in the field. If there is more than one fuel card associated with the driver, you can separate each number by a comma. For any transponders that you would like associated to this driver to assign toll transactions, you will have to put the full transponder number in this field. Also, if there is more than one, you can also separate them by a comma. The boxes next to these two fields will indicate if these transactions will be available to be added on a driver settlement, as in selecting driver, or if they won't be available to add to a settlement when selecting non-deductible. The transactions will still be assigned to the driver, but not able to be added to their settlement on this non-deductible selection. Under the group section, under the driver's profile, you can assign the driver to groups for additional sorting and color coding purposes. You will be able to select a group when clicking on the gray bar and then checking the box next to each group you would like them to be a part of. If more than one group is associated to the driver, then you will have a new field pop up called default driver group which will make this selected default group the visible color of this driver and other parts of the TMS. For more information on how to create a group and how they function, please see our Adding a Group video. Under the Employment section, you will be able to keep track of the driver's social security number, the date they were hired, their review date, their termination date if they are no longer with the company, and the first time their commercial driver's license was issued to see how long they have been driving. You will also be able to keep track of their license number, state that issued it, along with when it expires. You can also keep track of their CDL classifications from A, B, and C. Any specific endorsements they may have, for example, hazardous materials or tank cargo. You can record the tax form needed for them, whether they are a W-2 or 1099 and any special restrictions they may have from corrective lenses to any other driver-specific requirements. Under the safety section, you'll have a field for emergency contact name, relation, and phone number. You will also be able to input the dates of their medical card expiration, their motor vehicle record date, and the last drug test date they had. Many of these fields can cause a notification and change in color to note an expiration or upcoming action. Please refer to our notification and highlighting video 
for more information on setting this up. Once you have the general information input for your driver, you can save the information and keep the window open by clicking apply, or you can click OK, which will exit and save. You will see the driver now added to the list. And back on the drivers list, you will also be able to hover over any drivers that have a highlighted line to show any warnings or expirations for that specific driver. This will summarize all fields in their profile that have something expired. If you go into their profile, Anything that would be causing this will be highlighted and you can adjust accordingly. Also, you will see some additional buttons populate at the bottom after a driver profile is saved. The first will be a quick access button that will allow you to see a list of orders associated to this driver. If you go back and click on this again and click on movements, this will show a movements history report for this driver from all data from the beginning of the year. If the user accessing the driver profile has adequate permissions, they will also see a button on the bottom left with a gear that will allow to customize the fields and tabs that you have visible and required. You can search by field name if needed, then by checking and unchecking the visible check boxes Next to each field, you can remove it from the driver's profile or additionally make it required in order to save the driver. As you can see, the fields have changed in the background. The required fields will be marked with an asterisk. You can also select which tabs you would like to make visible or hidden so that you can customize the view and see only what is important to your company. As you can see, they have been adjusting in the background as well. Once a driver is assigned to a truck, you will get a summary of which asset they are currently assigned to, along with their hours of service data and location pulled from an integrated ELD provider. Please see the Adding a Truck video for more information on truck assignment. Under the Files tab, you will be able to attach and view any pertinent files for this driver, for example, document copies, W9s, drug test results, and more. When clicking Add, you will be able to select a file to upload from your computer, assign an expiration date to it, and add any comments to that specific file. When you click OK, this file will be saved, and then you will be able to edit or delete with the quick access buttons on the top when you select a specific file. You will also be able to view the file directly in the TMS and print it from the system by first clicking on View and then clicking the little printer icon when you have it opened up. You can also download to your computer by clicking on the Download button. Under the Comments tab, you can add, edit, and delete any comments you have for the driver. To add a comment, click on Add. Here a new pop-up window will open where you can assign a score to the comment and then record what it is in regards to. So whether the driver was late for a delivery, is giving your dispatcher a hard time, or has been doing very well, you can record any comments you would like. Click OK to save. You can use this section as a driver scorecard where the scores of all comments will be averaged out at the top to see an overall view of how the driver is doing on a scale of 1 to 10. If you need to edit any comments, you can do so by selecting the comment and clicking Edit. You can then make your changes and then you will see which user modified the comment and when once it's saved. Under the PTO tab, you'll be able to schedule any paid or personal time off for that driver. This blocks off their availability in the order planning screen and doesn't allow the driver to be dispatched on an order for those specific days. When you click on Add, a pop-up window will appear where you will select the from and to dates of the days off 
and you will have a place to input a specific comment regarding this PTO. By clicking OK, this will save the PTO and show you which user created it and when. Most other tabs on the driver's profile will be cross-referenced from other lists in the TMS that show only the specific entities associated with this specific driver. You can treat them as a track record or history of all other transactions, such as charges, fuel card transactions, tolls, settlements, claims, accidents, and more where you can view, edit, and add the transactions associated to this specific driver. Finally, under the Inventory tab, you'll be able to keep track of any equipment given to the driver. In the same way you can click on Add to put a new entry, that will open up a pop-up window where you will be inputting the name, date entered or assigned, it will populate today's date by default, also the quantity, and any comments related to it, for example, a serial number. So we can add an ELD device, for example. Click on OK to save, and this will record your entry, where again you'll be able to edit or delete. When you have all your information filled out, again you can click OK and apply. Please contact us if you have any additional questions regarding adding a driver. Thank you.